so what's up guys and uh, at this point of time we are going to start about learning how to use the windows api to generate graphics or graphical user interfaces using c++ or c whatever you like so without further delay let's start so i'm going to use this uh, visual studio but uh, if you feel free you can use dev c++ or code blocks whatever you like to follow this tutorial but i will be using visual studio and for this tutorial i hope you have a basic understanding of c and c++ so that you can actually follow this tutorial without any problem so let's jump in first let's create a new project and let's make it a win32 project and uh, hit ok hit next and we will be starting from our empty project so that we can build our application from the scratch and hit finish and as you can see our solution explorer is ready to be used now let's add a file let it be main cpp and that's it so now if you are going to use windows api to generate your graphical user interface then you must include windows.h and windows.h gives you the functions and all the stuffs that is needed to generate the native windows graphics user interface now as you have seen that each C program or C++ program have a main function like this but in case of Win32 API when you are using the window or the graphics component we actually use the main function defined by the window and that is the win main so instead of using int main we will be using win main it looks something like this Now, the women has four parameters or the four arguments that our function is going to use. So, the arguments are And that's it so the first parameter that we have here is instance h instance instance h prev instance lpstr ncmd line and int ncmd so so what is this instance well h stands for the handle uh, the component that is going to use our control and for this purpose the instance the first age instance is actually serving us 
the exe file or the executable file that we are going to make and it's the instance of the executable file now the next parameter it's not any it's not currently used more because it's for the 16 bit but still it holds the legacy so it's there and this is a character string lpstr lp stands for long pointer and str stands for string you can understand if you hover here you can see that charster is the type actually and this is the end to end chmd so so now that we have our wingman we need to close the wingman by and that's it so it's done our function is written in a value now if we run it we can see the app actually succeeded to run and uh, as we haven't already given it any kind of instructions so it opened and closed so let's do our hello world stuff for that i will be using a function called message box so what's the message box message box is a function that creates the messages when we try to do something like when we were going to close the window it generates this kind of pop-up and these pop-ups are actually so let's write our first message box we will do so by typing and as you can see the message box has four parameters the first is a handle hwnd to a window and we don't have any window right now so i will pass it null pointer the second parameter is the text that will be shown into your message box and for now let's have it and you can do stuff like this for line break now the third parameter it actually defines the title of the message box so we will type now for the fourth parameter let's leave it to be zero now now let's run this application and as you can see this is our message box it says the title is hello world and it says hi there i am using win32 now by default it has a ok button now let's come to this fourth parameter that i left as zero this actually defines how the message box will look like or react now for this one the there are many message box commands actually define stuffs and these, these all keywords actually start with the mb so if we type mb ok then it will just show the ok button now if we do something another like and the ok cancel now that you can see the ok button and the cancel button now we can have a multiple of this message box messages uh, for and we will be having them all using our and the mb icon stands for the icon of the message box let's have it like error and when you as you can see that now it has an error icon it can be the exclamation icon and as you can see exclamation sign pops 
and here you can also use yes no cancel you have yes no cancel now what is the return of this function this function actually returns an integer like and this integer actually denotes the status of our message so that's it for today uh, try to experiment different things with the message box uh, and uh, to go to the other things that are defined you can actually go to the wing user.h and you can see the other things that the other messages that are, that are defined for the message box for mbok mbok cancel about try ignore yes no and here are the icons like asterisk question icon hand and warning error and there are other stuffs like default buttons app models and so I try doing something with the message box and hit like if you like this video and comment if you have any problem following this tutorial or understanding the message box so that I can answer you. Thank you very much.